What's going on YouTube? It's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for another reaction. And today's a great day, do you know why? You know why. Because it's another day where I react to Sweden and learn more about Swedish stuff. Um, this video is, this, I'm actually really excited about this video. System Blogget, System Blogget. I think that's how you say it, is where to buy alcohol in Sweden. Uh, this video is in Gulmasplan. Did I say that right? In Stockholm. And yeah, I am looking forward to seeing what... Because we don't have anything like this in England. In England, you can buy alcohol absolutely everywhere. If you're filling up petrol, you can go into the petrol station shop and get alcohol. If you are in the shopping mall getting your food or shopping centre, you can also pick up alcohol. If you're going to go get some cigarettes if you smoke or if you're going into a news agent to get a newspaper, you can also get alcohol. <laughs> you can get alcohol everywhere. You can even order alcohol and it'll get delivered to your door. So having one place and one place only where you can get alcohol is an interesting concept to me. However, everyone in the comment section seems to be quite positive about the system blog it. So it must be a uh, a good system, <laughs> a good place to get alcohol. So um, and you don't mind it closing at seven p.m. and only being open from Monday to Friday, or Monday to Saturday. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, find out what it looks like. Oh, I want to read that. The minimum, age, the minimum age to purchase beverages above 3.5% is 20 years of age. A main reason to have a system below it as a monopoly is to enforce this age limit. Um, several tests have shown that restaurants and food shops often sell 3.5% beer to people below the minimum legal age of 18. Okay, so there's a reason. I feel like this is at COVID times. Yeah, everyone's wearing a mask. Alcohol gel. Mmm. Some wines. It looks like rose wine. <laughs> Moet. I have to say, it's it's nicely set out, very neat and tidy, and um, well organized. I hope he goes and speaks to somebody, because someone told me in the comment section that. Um, you can speak to somebody and they will like tell you what type of wine pairs well with a meal which is pretty cool is that Pinot Grigio? I, I'm, not, I'm not an alcohol person so um, my <laughs> knowledge of alcohol is quite limited some sort of uh, is that red wine His camera skills are not the best. I kind of want to have a, a, an up close shot on some of the booze, but Hardy's, we have that um, brand in the UK. What is this, that case? I think this is that cases of wine. I really do like a case of wine. 
there's something about a case of wine that I really like, where you can just like, you just pull the little lever and the wine comes out the box. <laughs> and you don't really know when it's going to empty or be the end of it. And you're like, oh, there's some more. There's some more. Maybe it's just me. I, I really like um, cases of wine. Or boxes of wine. Pinot Noir. Okay. Box of wine. Oh, he wants that one. I've not seen any prices yet. That's 89. I think it's... Oh, Rioja. I like Rioja. It's like another kind of red wine, isn't it? Lager. Lager and beer. Ten point two per cent beer. I'm not, that's obviously just for himself. Cause he's only getting one. It's just very interesting. It's just very controlled um, to have it all in one building, in one place, um, everywhere. So how strict is it? So is it is it literally you can only purchase alcohol at the system blogget? Or can you purchase alcohol anywhere else in Sweden? How strict is it? I'm guessing it's very strict because the government um, regulates it and there's control of these places. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Ah, you have Carlsberg. I'm starting to see the and Corona <laughs> during Corona times. You have all the same brand names as, as we do. What's this? Bottled beer. I don't know what that is. Is that like ale? It's quite a large um, lager and beer section. There seems to be quite a lot of um, information as well on the slips. But I can't read them, read it because it's not getting close enough. But it seems like it's got a lot of information on maybe the origin of the alcohol beverage and the taste and the strength as well as the price. Guinness. Do you like Guinness? Guinness is a very is acquired taste. We like Guinness in uh, the UK because of our Irish neighbours. My um, dad actually makes a Guinness punch. Sounds weird, but it's like, it's like, 
Guinness with like condensed milk and like um, ice cream and like nutmeg and like it's a very Jamaican thing. Um, yeah, Guinness punch. It it doesn't sound nice, but trust me, it's uh, it's delicious. Trust me. <laughs> Might not sound convincing, but it is. Red Stripe. Red Stripe is a Jamaican beer. It's actually a really nice beer, actually. Quite smooth. Are we in the whiskey rum section? Oh my, I don't know. Cider. And... What's bland, bland dry dricker? Bland dricker? Don't know what that is. But I know what cider is. Copperberg. We have some Copperberg in the UK. Mixed fruits. I never knew Copperberg was so strong. 7%. Did not know that. I really miss cider. This is making me miss like European drinks. I'll let you work that out why I miss European drinks. <laughs> cider. Gin. I'm a big fan of gin. I think it's my favorite bar drink. If I'm gonna go to a bar, I'm gonna have a gin and tonic or a Bombay Sapphire is a great gin. Um, I'm gonna have a cocktail that has gin in it. However, if I'm in a pub, a British pub, I would have a beer, most likely. Also, do you guys have pubs in Sweden? Or do you have something else? Or do you call it something else? I want to know. Because we have a huge drinking culture in um, Britain. So I wonder if you guys have the same in Sweden. So. Swedish single malt whiskey. Mmm, Mac, Macmira, Macmira, single malt whiskey. Is that good? Is that any good, guys? Because he's holding that up and he's uh, giving us a little title, so it must be uh, a uh, traditional Swedish whiskey. Should I try that when I come to Sweden? Let me know. Tom, Tominton, Tominton. This camera is too, okay. Some more whiskey, Scotch whiskey. I can't say I'm very um, versed on whiskey. I've had, um, yeah, I don't think I've had much, much whiskey at all. I think he's done. <laughs> so quiet in there. This is definitely COVID times because there's like hardly anyone inside. And there's only one checkout, there's only one person serving. Yeah, I 
Oh wait, the only, I have had whiskey. The only whiskey I've had is Jack Daniels and Coke. Apart from that, I've never had. I've really had whiskey much. Here's on. He needs to blur out his card number. It's a rookie error. I wouldn't hold my card up to this point. Did he just hold his card up to the screen and put his pin in in front of us? I hope he's changed his pin and I hope he's changed his card. Um, yeah, it's very trusting of YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if he should have done that. I hope he's, um, I think it's, I hope it's all safe. <laughs> Nej, du kan slänga, tack så mycket. Why is it so satisfying to see him pack? Game prepared. I guess you guys have the same policy of um, trying to cut down on shopping bags. Do you guys have to pay for bags in Sweden like we do in England? I think that's kind of the uh, the norm all over the world now. Which is a good thing for the environment, as they say. To the left, was was that a kind of place where if you order something online it gets delivered you can get it delivered to kind of like those kind of locker things if you know what i mean I th if you know what i mean if you get something ordered you can choose to get it delivered to a safe a safe deposit box place is that what that is hello guys oh no we're not watching you right now um guys thank you very but that what's on the screen is going to be a future video yeah but guys thank you very much for watching yeah that was really interesting um my verdict on a system blog it is that it looks very well organized i like that you're going there and you just have alcohol and booze and it was just very neat and tidy and easy to navigate and you had everything there like all types of alcohol i really like that i just like the way it's organized like we a lot of our places where we get alcohol beverages they're in a bigger space with other things and then you have to run around a shopping center trying to find the alcohol section yeah i like it i don't think and i'm not a massive drinker like i drink now and again, I do like to have a little tipple every so often. So for me, it would really work out well for me if I lived in Sweden. I'll probably visit there maybe like once a month. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if that's typical of all uh, system bloggers. Um, let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Until the next one. See you guys later.